in this video guys we are spending 100 days as a gara from naruto in shindo life roblox to do this first of all we need to obtain gara's bloodline and elements and then after that we need to level up to level 400 to be able to unlock our moves so we can kill the gen 1 tailed beast and then once we've obtained the gen 1 tailed beast we need to max it out and then at the end of the video we're going to be fighting rock lee to see who truly is the strongest all right guys so we are in shindo life and the first thing that we need to do is get gara's bloodlines slash elements for the elements he basically doesn't use any elements however i went on google and it says that he used is he uses basically wind element to fortify and make his sand element better his sand bloodline so we are gonna basically try and go for wind oh my god i forgot sand there straight away the two bloodlines that we're gonna go for is apollo sand and sand the only reason i am gonna go for apollo sand because it's so good at killing bosses and we need to go and get the tail his tail beast the basically the first tailed beast and i'm not sure yet if i'm gonna get a gen 1 or gen 2 tailed i've not decided yet but to be honest it doesn't really matter they both look very very similar to each other it's just that the one that has a better design that's the one i'm gonna go for and yeah looking at the tailed beast the designs i think the gen 1 looks a lot better than the jed 2 so we're gonna have to go for that one and getting a polo sand is gonna make it a lot a lot easier for us all right so we've run out of the spins that we normally get so we're gonna put in a code please don't say we only have like one or two codes that's gonna be so annoying and this code doesn't work either please don't say we only have one or two codes to play off okay we have 150 spins i think that is it okay this one works all right so we have a decent amount okay 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 we have a decent amount i think we also have a 300 code one okay 300 spin code two okay i got nervous i thought we only had 150 which is probably uh, with my luck i don't think that's gonna be enough for me to get a polo sand all right so yeah i got sand just a normal sand which is the one that gara basically uses most of the time so we're gonna keep this and now we're just gonna spin on this hand side and just get a pot of sand hopefully before we get any other like good bloodlines all right guys so eventually after a lot a lot of spinning we've managed to get sand and a pot of sand on the same account and for the element as i said before we've got wind on our both of our elements are wind and also as you can see we're dripped out looking like gara this this one actually looks like the most accurate to the character itself from that like, anime like the face and everything just looks so so goaded so we're gonna press play and go straight into the game all right so we are in the game and i've actually not done like a spending 100 days in a decently long time to be honest it feels like three four months but yeah the first thing that we're gonna do as per usual is do some quests and some missions because to be honest our main goal for the like the first portion of the video is to just get our bloodline to level 400 so we can lock this move here because as you know we need that to kill the tailed beast so what, what missions do we do i think the blue star missions let's see what what they have in store for us all right can you clean up the kage office for me how many do i have to clean up seven of them oh okay this is shall we do that i don't all right okay we'll do one of the delivery missions okay what do we need okay can you deliver some groceries for me yep perfect perfect mission get us a decent amount of xp all right that's one house delivered to all right another one delivered and where's the last one okay that one's located over there and the last house has been delivered to how much xp is that going to give us hopefully a decent amount all right gave us okay 30 not bad i want to see when do we unlock this mode here for the sun just the normal sand okay normal sand is 500 what's apollo sand 250 right how's apollo sand <laughs> what how does it take us way more thingy levels to unlock apollo sand than sand itself okay that's actually rather surprising I just realized, why am I in Blade's village? I might as well go to the Thingy's village himself. Okay, Gara's village. We're going to go to Dunes. I, just, I don't know why I'm, I'm in Blade's. I just realized. I, I thought I was like doing it like a normal character, but no, we're not. All right, so we are in Dunes, the village, and it's now feeling a lot like home. Okay, can you deliver some groceries for us? We're not going to do that quest again. Is there any other variety of quests? This one here. Is it going to be the cleanup? The Can you find my missing cat? All right, perfect. It's like a very, very easy one to do. I've never actually like doing quests in dunes village okay it's actually nice it's kind of hard to like not like it's kind of hard to navigate through though why is his cat all the way here all right let me just all right found it there we go how much xp is that gonna give us all right give us around 42 which is not bad at all not too shabby all right so i think now guys i'm gonna probably just try and get to like level 250 with our bloodline so we can actually unlock the mode and we can start doing like some green scroll missions and just start actually getting powerful because we need to get to level 400 bloodline as soon as possible so i'm gonna do guys probably just grind some blood grinding real quick and i'll catch you guys once i am level 250 on my bloodline all right guys so we've managed to get to level 250 with our bloodline and so we're just gonna equip it right so this is actually like a very very overpowered bloodline and for some reason not me why is it not allowing me to think it 
There we go. All right. I thought it was bugged. Okay, there we go. And this actually blood that's actually like really, really, really good. And corrupt ninja ninjas. Okay, we're gonna accept. And we're gonna absolutely decimate these guys. And okay, we barely have we barely have enough chi. I don't know if that's even gonna be enough for us to do our move here. Oh, there's also a Nar that Naruto design looks so so clean. That one there it looks so so good. But yeah, we just need to kill those people. I'm hoping we get like a good amount of XP. But the worst thing, I just realized the worst thing about dunes is these guys are located miles and miles away. Oh my god, they're so so far. I have to just keep on like tree hopping every time. Yeah, oh my god. They're, oh, why? These guys are actually located so far away. They're actually located past the Gen 1 beast. We have to go all the way over here. Oh, okay. Finally, we've reached these guys. I don't know why they're so far. Alright, so we're just going to use our C-Spec here. Our C-Spec should kill them. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, but another M1 does kill them. Okay, that was pretty, pretty good. But to be honest, it is actually really, really powerful. I think I'm going to... Shall I unlock this move here? Wait, let me see if we have enough. So we can complete all these. Accept. Claim all these quests here. See how much coins we have. Alright, okay, we have 58k. I think I'm going to unlock this move. We can't even unlock it yet, I'm guessing, because we don't have enough chi. Alright, so I'm just going to put... A 2000 into my chi. And 7, 8, 792 into my nin. And I think now we should have enough. I'm just gonna lock this move here. And I lock this move here. There we go. Oh, this move can go in FGH. That's actually really, really cool. Alright, so that's actually not bad at all. I think now we're just gonna have to reset our character because there's no way I'm gonna go all the way back over there again. Which one have we got in store for me now? Rogue Ember Assassins. Okay, let's see how far away these guys are going to be. Hopefully they're not that far. Alright, we finally reached these guys here. I'm gonna try to use my F move. See how this one does. Okay, it's like a staircase. That's not bad. That's bad. The V move. Okay, the B move. Okay, the V move just literally obliterates that. Okay, that's actually really, really good. And they're dead just like that. Okay, to be honest, I'm actually quite liking Apollo Sun doing these green score missions. It's actually really, really overpowered. There's no Q spec, unfortunately. And I don't. There's no mode two either, which is which is kind of sad, but it doesn't really matter. But I think now, guys, I'm just gonna keep on grinding a bit of green score missions and maybe a little bit of log grinding until we reach level 400 with our bloodline, so we can finally unlock this move here. So we can go and start fighting the Gen 1 Tailed Beast. And yeah, I'll catch you guys once I do that. Alright guys, so we got to the level 400 with our bloodline right now. And we're walking towards the Gen 1 Tailed Beast. And we're going to have to unlock this move here. Which is the cheat. Oh, we need 2,200 cheat. Hopefully I'll have enough. But I think we will be able to have enough. Going to put 386 here. And I think now yeah, we'll be able to unlock it. Thing is, with this move, we only have this move that's going to do a good amount of damage. So we're just going to have to rely on basically that only one move. It's going to take us a decent amount of time to kill one of these tailed beasts. And so I'm hoping we do kill it as soon as possible. Just going to hit with this. Because look how much... <laughs> look how much damage it does. No way. Okay, we're going to we're gonna have to use this like 10, 15 times each time we want to kill this tailed beast. Oh my god, this is going to take a long, long time. I can already tell. Especially if one cancels out too, that's going to... It's gonna hold us back so much. Okay, that one there did way more damage because he like walked into the moves. But this is gonna take a long time. I just there, he just cancelled my move there, so I have to wait another 15 seconds before I do it again, which is so annoying. All right, we're kind of close to killing him now. Doing a decent amount. To be honest, my C spec is not actually bad at doing like a decent amount of damage to him. However, this move that he does here is so annoying because like I've already died once fighting this guy. But yeah, we're just gonna hit him with also our F move. F move. Also does a little bit of damage as you seen there. His bar kind of moved, but so far it's not, it's not bad to kill. It's just that it takes away lot. It's so long for no reason. And that move there, I think we're gonna die again if we don't dodge that. Okay, we be able to dodge that, but barely. All right, so nine more seconds and we should we should be able to get him. There's no way we don't kill him in nine seconds. I'm gonna hit this move here just to see how much damage that one does. See that that damage just. That damaged a little bit and this is going to kill him. And of course we don't get it because our luck is horrendous. So we're not going to get it first try. So I'm just going to repeatedly keep on killing this guy until we do get his drop. And I'll catch you guys once we do. Alright guys, and just like that, we finally managed to get the Gen 1 Shikaku Tailed Beast. And we've got a million coins, which means we can unlock this straight off the bat. Oh my god, this actually took me so long to get. I did not expect it to take me this long. And yeah, we're just going to mode into it and see how it looks. 
Okay, first tail of beast. Okay, I cannot lie, that actually looks really, really, really clean. Okay, this looks so, so clean. And I'm guessing we're just gonna keep on getting XP because every time we're in the mode, we're gonna like auto get XP. And the best way, in my opinion, to level this up is by doing some dungeons. So I'm hoping I'm just gonna go into a random server and there's gonna be people doing some dungeons or we're gonna just join them. I'm hoping that's like the best case scenario. So I am gonna press on travel on main menu. Because I think three or four of doing those ten tail dungeons will basically just max out the whole entire uh, Gen one tail beast for me. Because that's what happened last time. So I'm hoping this time it's going to be the same, especially with two times XP. I think it's just going to be way better. All right, so I'm just in a random server with some random people. I don't know which one they're actually going to do. They could be doing any of them. To be honest, I think every single one of them gives like a decent amount of XP. Anyways, I think they all basically give very very similar XP. So to be honest, it doesn't really matter which one we do. We just have to do one of them. And I've, the only one that I've ever ever done was the 10 stone one. So I'm excited to test out if it's another one. Okay, it's a dungeon. I don't know which one's going to be. I'm level 500, so I'm probably going to be very, very useless to these guys. Especially that I'm really, I'm kind of like really, really weak. Guys, so we're basically approaching the last wave. And I've literally been glitched this whole entire time. And I'm just hoping with the carry, we also actually get the XP that's, that we get from the mission itself. I'm hoping, I'm just hoping that we do, I'm hoping we do. It's gonna level us up so, so much. Okay. Alright, okay, so the boss has spawned in. It's not 120 marbles, it's gonna be the boss. And where's the boss, where's the boss, where's the boss? I don't know how strong the boss is gonna be. So, I'm just gonna keep my distance. Three years. Okay, the Shindai Akuma boss. Okay, okay, okay. What, it hopefully it doesn't go for me, because I'm just, I'm literally just a one-shot. And I just died, okay, straight away. Alright, okay, the boss is very, very, very close to dying. Okay, look how much HP he's got, boy. These guys are just... It basically got every single overpowered bloodline and somehow I can I'm able to <laughs> move my character around Okay, I don't know how I glitched this badly I didn't think this was possible anymore in dungeons and the boss is dead. Okay, the boss is dead and yep Look, okay, we actually got the XP for it too, which is crazy because we've done absolutely nothing and look how much XP we got Let me just go here Look five. I think that's five million around five million XP for that. It's crazy because now we're gonna get to at least level like 500 Right, so I'm just gonna try and do as many missions as possible try and get as like carried as possible by these guys and I'll catch you guys once I've got basically just maxed out my entire tailed beast All right guys, so after completing this last dungeon we should be able to max out our Sue tailed spirit. I didn't expect this to take me this long. It took me like at least like 10 dungeons because I didn't realize that you had to be level 1000 to get the max XP for your tailed beast But now we're gonna actually mode up for the first time to our I think it's a fourth mode Yeah, fourth mode and I can't lie the design for this looks so so like it looks so so good Like the design is just amazing. Like look at the design. They've done like a really good job Oh, okay. The Z spec is okay. He's cocky running around. Okay. That's actually cool And he also uses a beast bomb. Yeah, this is okay. That's actually insane. What's the Q spec? All right, the Q spec is the same as normal but yeah, this is actually like a really, really, it's so, so nice. Look at, look at the design, man. That's so, so good. We actually like blend into the sand here. All right, onto the wave two. That was actually, first wave was kind of easy because there's only five mobs and now it's getting a little bit more difficult. Look how many of them are gathered at the same time, bro. And we're only on wave four and somehow I'm kind of struggling. All right, now we are on wave six. So basically two more waves or one more wave until we fight the boss. So we just have to defeat this wave and then wave 7. And then I'm hoping we do get enough XP to level it up to level 1700. I think it's either we're going to get to level 1700 or we'll be like very, very, very close to it. But yeah, we're just going to hit him with this here. And just use all these moves against these guys. Alright, and that last mob after he gets killed, we're going to go on to the last wave. I don't know, I think we're going to, I don't know what boss we're going to fight. I thought it was going to be Naruto, but it could be someone else. I don't know who the boss is. But we'll just have to wait and see. I think it might be Narumaki actually. Um, ho oh, it's Sengoku. Okay, I've never actually fought the Sengoku boss ever. But so we're just gonna have to go back into our form form and see how powerful this guy is. Our MD is kind of low, so I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to kill him. But I'm hoping we do. Okay, I'm just gonna hit him with all of my moves. He's not really attacking, so we're just basically just getting free hits off. Just get literally so many free hits. We've already basically got him to half HP, and I think he could be bugged or glitched because he's just literally not moving at all. It's basically just like a log at this point. We're just literally like just hitting him. He's not doing anything. All right. Okay. What's gonna happen first? I'm, is my MD gonna run out first, or is he gonna die first? I think. I think he's probably gonna die before my MD runs out. Okay. Let's see. Okay. He's barely got any HP left. But MD. I only have 300 MD left. Okay. My MD ran out first, and I think he's dead now. Yeah. He's literally one hit. 
How is he not dead? Yeah, okay, now he's dead, finally. And okay, let's see how much XP we've got. I think that's like 31 million XP from just dungeon itself, one dungeon, which is very, very, very high. And I think with that, we should... I think we should be able to get to level 3, 1700. I think we should be able to, I think. So we're going to go into... Um, is it, I think I'm, shall I go into blaze? I don't think we need dungeons anymore. I think I'm just going to go into blaze now. And I'm hoping we do have enough. Hopefully, it, sh it should be enough. Alright, so we decided to go to the, uh, the Dunes Village instead of the Blaze one. And I think we should be able to have enough. Let's see. What? Okay, we set 1735, which is literally like basically kind of scraped it. But yeah, let's actually mode up to our final form. Yeah, this, this is form 1, which is probably like the form that Gara basically used in the anime. That's like the most closest one to it. And then this is form 2. Okay, and... Okay, this is probably like a nice form, okay. Thought form 3 is actually really, really cool. But it's like no tails. And then form 4, that's where you get the one tails. And then form 5, okay, that's where you get the Sage of Six Path thingies too. So it's just like a Naruto version of Gara. Look, we get like the, we get the Truth Seeking Balls, we get everything. Okay, it's actually clean. What's the Z-Spec? Okay, the Z-Spec is very, very similar to... It's basically the exact same. And then the Q. Can we fly with this? Oh, we can fly with this form 2, which is crazy. Okay, look at us, bro. We actually look drippy. And Q... The Q spec is a truth seeking balls. We throw them around. Okay, that is that is so so clean. Is there an E spec? Okay, there's no E spec to this, but yeah, okay, I like this form a lot. So unfortunately, I couldn't find someone to be Rockley, so I think we're just gonna have to fight the Rockley boss and just pretend it's a real person. And the Rockley boss spawns in the training field, so we're gonna go there and we're gonna go and fight Rockley to see who truly is strong. All right, guys, so we are at Bruce Kenichi's spawn, and I think this is like the most closest one to our guy Rockley, so we're gonna be fighting him. Just gonna put our form 101 here and just absolutely obliterate him. See, I actually want to use my Q spec for the first time, see how much damage it does. Okay, that's actually not bad at all. Okay, that's actually like really, really good. I'm gonna hit my Z spec here too. Yeah, okay. Rock Lee is gonna get absolutely destroyed. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just hit him with this. Oh, he's using he's using his nine gates already, bro. Relax. Oh my god, relax, 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 relax. Okay, hit him with that, hit him with this here, hit him with this, there we go, some of this, okay, he is kind of, he is kind of strong, I'll be honest, okay, we're gonna hit him with some other M1s here, and a Q spec again, Q spec is so, so crazy, I can't like, I like it a lot, it's just that we have to be wary of our thingy chakra, and I'm just gonna just fly up, and it doesn't even take, me flying up does not take any stamina too, which is, which is actually like, way too overpowered, but however, I can't really do anything when I'm flying up. I can't like load up my chi or anything. I'm just gonna have to go down. Oh, I can actually load up my chakra when I'm when I'm flying. I can load up my chakra. Okay, that is actually broken. Oh my god, that's actually broken. Okay, especially against actually like real players because they, they don't really track you like bosses do. So I can basically just spam this move here. Okay, now I'm just gonna actually just hit him with some more M1s here because the guy's actually kind of kind of hitting us for a lot. Right, we have uh, recuperated and. Basically just maxed out our HP now, so we can just absolutely obliterate him. No messing around now. Before we were kind of messing around this time, no messing. Just going straight in. In with the... Okay, Q-Spec, Q-Spec work. Right, there we go. How's he still able to charge up whilst we're hitting him with the flipping Truth Seeker ball? How's that work? Alright, him with this. Go on, okay, there we go. We're getting with the nice counter. Hit him with this here too. Get him in a sand coffin. Yeah, this is where he just gets... Just absolutely destroyed. Okay, I hit him with this here. Do a decent amount. Hit him with this here too. Okay, this actually does a good amount. But for some reason, I didn't, didn't hit though. Right, two chicken balls again. There we go. Whilst we charge up our chi. Yeah, bro, that Q spec is so, so, like, it's just so clutch. Hit him with some of this. And then, boom, there we go. Just running around, we're running around with our tail beast. Just running around, there we go. Okay, now we're hitting him with this here. Okay, I should have blocked that move there, but it didn't work. Gonna hit him with some of this and another Z spec. And I think he should be dead after just like a two more moves should kill him. I think this and then Truth Seeking Ball should kill him. We're gonna kill him with a Truth Seeking Ball. Does he drop anything just because we just. We might. Okay, he did not drop anything. And we just absolutely decimated our guy. 
But actually, like the second time around, we tried and he just got, he just got destroyed there. Of course, Gara, in my opinion, is stronger than Rock Lee. But make sure to comment down below who do you think is actually stronger, Rock Lee or Gara? But yeah, guys, that has been the video of me spending 100 days as Gara. I know this was kind of like a like a different spending 100 days because this time I actually had to get to beast and stuff. So I basically reached max level before I was meant to reach max level because the dungeon just gave me so much XP. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below what other characters you want me to do spend your 100 days as. And I think the next character I might do is Kaoki or Sakura. So make sure to comment down below which one you want to see more. And hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, guys. And um, peace out, guys. Peace out.